Hi everyone, it's me, Madam Pamita, and we have another fabulous question from the Live Magic Q and A Tea Party that I hold every Sunday. I'd love to see you there. Come join me live over Zoom and ask your questions about witchcraft, magic, spirituality, and I'll answer them. You can do that simply by going to spellsquad.com, signing up, and you'll get a link to join. And not only that, you'll get a coupon for the Parlor of Wonders. Ha, huh, win-win. So why don't you head over to spellsquad.com? And now we're going to see a clip from one of our live magic Q&A tea parties. So Nan says, when is the best time to do the blockbusting spell, a blockbuster spell. I ordered the oil and incense kit and have a reversal candle ready. Would the best time to be to do that type of spell during a waning or dark moon or something else? Okay, so we're gonna talk about timings. You have lots of choices with timings. You have lots of choices with timings, right? So if you look in my book, The Book of Candle Magic, I talk all about different ways of timing and you could start there. I mean, that's a great place. Now when you're looking at timings sometimes it can be overwhelming because there are so many choices for timings do you do it by the moon do you do it by the day of the week do you do it by the time of day do you do it by um sun astrology i mean what do you use uh planetary hours i mean there's so many choices in terms of timing so what, what i recommend is picking one you don't need to do multiples that being said, if you need a blockbuster right now, do it right now and don't worry about the timing. The timing is just another element that can help support our magical work. It is not a requirement. It is something that can help, right? As I've talked about many times, it's like, are you pushing your wheelbarrow uphill? Are you pushing it on flat ground? Are you pushing it with a little downward slope? Each thing that we add can give us a little more of an edge and make it a little easier. But can you push up? wheelbarrow uphill sure you can can you push it on flat ground sure you can but if we have a little bit of slope it's going to make it easier right so it's going to help our spells if we do that so if you with any timing on any spell if you have to do it right now do it right now and don't worry about the timing but if you have the luxury of being able to figure out a timing to do your spell then great fantastic all right so then you decide am i working with the moon if i'm working with the moon I can work during a waning moon, which is after the full moon and before the new moon, when the moon looks like it's getting smaller and smaller every day, that's going to be fantastic for us to work in releasing something. And a blockbuster is to break through things. Now you could say blockbuster sort of depends on the direction you take it, but most blockbuster spells are for releasing and letting go right? We want to remove the blocks of something. We're removing something. We're blasting through those blocks. So if you do it any time during the two weeks between the full moon and the new moon, you're in a great timing for it and it's going to support and help your work. If you don't want to work with the moon, that's fine too. You could work with days of the week. Days of the week might be Saturday. Saturday is ruled by the planet Saturn, which is about justice, structure, um, karma. So if you're doing something that you're, you know, trying to get rid of something and you want justice in it, the situation, you could work on a Saturday. That would be a great way to work as well. You can also work with the time of day if you want to work in that way. So there's an idea, there's a couple of things that you can do in terms of the clock. If you imagine a clock with hands on it, when the hands are between 12 and 6, the hands are falling they're going down it's like waning energy and when the hands are between six and twelve six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve they're rising right coming in so you could release and let go in the waxing time so anytime between 12 and 12 30 1 and 1 30 2 and 2 30 3 and 3 30 that's when the hands are going down so you could work in that way so those are just a couple of examples of how you would work with a blockbuster now when thinking of days in the week going back to days of the week maybe there's a block around a certain topic right if it's a block around let's say you're having some bad luck and you want to break through that bad luck and invite good luck in you could do it on a wednesday or maybe it's about um, business or money, you could do it on a Thursday, sometimes on a Friday, if it's money goes both ways. Friday is the love day. 
you can, if it's a block about love, you can work on a Friday. So it doesn't have to be about the blockbuster. It can be about the topic when you pick your time as well, but you can pick that energy of the moon. It's a great time right now. We're in that time after the full moon. So this is the perfect time for you to be doing this work. So you could do it today. So there you go.